Hello, this is Mr. Slatke. We have Froggy, a mechanical frog. Can he swim across the lake? That's the question. If he hits the bottom, though, he's going to break. Let's take a look at the lake. We have the start point, which is right here, and the finish point, which is 120 feet away in Lake Tad. There are a couple low spots in the lake. One is 12 feet away from the start, excuse me, 24 feet away from the start, and the other is 51.5 from the end. All right, these are three feet deep. If Froggy swims a sine wave all the way across Lake Tad, beginning at the surface of the start point, will he avoid the dangerous low points? That's the question. Don't forget the lake is plenty deep in, um, other than those, just those two low spots. Some facts. Froggy swims seven feet down from the surface. Froggy goes 12 feet between each surfacing. And then explain if Froggy is happy or sad after his journey with graphs and or equations. Let's do a little demonstration. Okay, we have Froggy at the top. He starts at the top at the beginning. He goes down seven feet. He goes back and surfaces. He does this uh, every 12 feet. From there to there is 12 feet. He does this. We want to know if he hits the low points, the rocky bottom. All right, if you are ready to try, go ahead, pause the tape. I do have some clues after this. So pause the tape and try it on your own. Okay, here are some clues. First of all, the amplitude is three and a half feet. We are seven feet down. So seven feet divided by two is 3.5 feet. The midline, of course, then is down 3.5 feet. So y equals negative 3.5. The angular speed, we have 360 degrees for every 12 feet. So that's 30 degrees per foot is our angular speed. And I would use the cosine graph because we started up. All right, here's some more clues. So go ahead and pause the tape. All right, here's some more clues. Y sub 1, that's what I would do is graph this. Y sub 1 is 3.5 that's the amplitude, cosine, angular speed, 30, x, and we're doing our graph is in, in degrees, minus 3.5. All right, and then this one is important because that's the rocky bottom. We're just going to make a line where the rocky bottom is and then check those certain points. Y sub 2 would be negative 3. All right, pause the tape. I'll give you the answer in the next slide. Okay, here's your answer. Well, 24 feet away, he's, Froggy is at the surface, so we're all good. Okay, all good there for 24 feet away. 51.5 from the other side, we have to take 120 minus that, and we got 68.5 feet from the start. Okay, unfortunately, Froggy is down negative 4.4 feet, so Froggy broke. So sorry. Thanks for watching.